We are getting more details now about a drive-by shooting in Regent Park last night that killed one man and left another man lucky to be alive. It happened at Regent and Cole, east of Parliament, just after 9, a black SUV, two people inside at least, opened fire. One man was hit on the street. The other, though, managed to get inside an unlocked home, but that home was then sprayed with bullets. Fortunately, he and the other people inside were not hurt. The man hit in the street, though, who was killed, has now been identified as 30-year-old Lamar Champagne, the city's 23rd homicide victim of the year. Now, in the daylight, you can see the police markers outside the house where the second targeted man fled. Police say he did not live there. It was simply a fluke that the door was unlocked, and neither he nor any, anyone inside was hit by the gunfire. Luckily, uh, that house, uh, the bullets did not penetrate anything that could cause injury to people on the inside. Uh, but again, uh, with bullets, they ricochet and they do funny things. So uh, we're fortunate that did not cause injury to anyone. We've been reviewing video surveillance from the area. However, we believe there's a lot more people that were in this vicinity due to the time of the evening, due to being nice weather, Canada Day weekend, a lot of people were off, and due to this being a densely populated area and there's high-rise buildings here, we think there's a lot of people on their balconies that might have seen the events transpire. So we're urging those people to come forward, and there's no information that's small. In videos from the scene last night, moments after the shooting, as emergency crews tended to the victim, Police say Champagne was not known to them. The other victim, who's not being named, is cooperating with police. They say, aren't saying, I should say, how the two men knew each other.